Sup, sup, how's it going? How's it how's it doing? How are you doing today? It is time for another One Piece video. Uh, this week, TCB Scans released chapter 1071. Although I, I thought we were on break this week. I guess I was wrong. But uh, TCB Scans released a low version, a low quality version of chapter 1071. So, and... I'm going to be on vacation week next week, so, you know, I thought, screw it. Let's just get this chapter reaction over with. Now, before I get into the chapter reaction, remember, if you like, and if you like my reactions, uh, like and subscribe, you know, it's free to do. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Chapter 1071, A Hero's Offensive. This is low quality version. I don't... Uh, okay, hold on. We're putting out this lower quality ver early version of chapter 1071 ahead of our usual release since at this time of year it's unpredictable when high quality scans will be available. It could take a few days, which would be a long time to make people wait with spoilers already floating about. Hopefully you'll all be able to enjoy this version in the meantime. The translation is just like normal, only the image quality will be updated later. Please be considerate to anyone who chooses to wait for the final release. Happy holidays. All right. So, you heard it there first. The translation scans are still the same. You guys will just hear me saying the translations, and I'll just be looking at slightly lower quality uh, images. But you guys won't see anything. Alright, let's get into this. Chapter 1071, A Hero's Offensive. Whoosh, Kuma's Destination? Oh, we're seeing where Kuma's heading off to. Okay, Kuma's flying in. Red Port, the base of Red Line. He's going back to the Red Line? Huh. Yeah. Wah. Explodes into the into the ground. It's Bartholomew Kuma. It's Bartholomew. It's Bartholomew Kuma. What? Where did he come from? Thor, can you stop that? Sorry if you hear that licking noise. It's my dog. Uh. He's weird like that. Sorry. I heard he fled the Holy Land. What's he doing here? He's meant to be this Celestial Dragon's invincible slave, right? Section off the Northeast District. Ooh, he's like bleeding everywhere. Oh, this is like a nightmare version of Kuma. It's, or something. It looks like a nightmare version. Wah, it moved. Yeah, it's a former, it's a former warlord of the sea, Bartholomew Bartholomew Kuma. Just appeared at the Bondola Gate. Deploy all available Marines to his location. Civilians, please be advised. He's extremely dangerous. Evacuate immediately. He's a man with no shred of humanity. He may serve the Celestial Dragons, but his current purpose and programming are unknown. Do not approach. Egghead, the island of the future, new world. Lock down any and all possible r escape routes for Vegapunk. Yes, sir. Destroy the ships if you need to. Yes, sir. Even with the Seraphim back under control, how are we meant to flush them out? This frontier dome is a real nuisance. It sure is a marvel. You're determined to ignore the Navy, aren't you, Luchi? I refuse to accept Straw Hat as an emperor. You're hopeless. Okay, Luchi. Jeez. You just got beaten up by Luffy once again, and you're like, eh, she's not an emperor, really. Uh. The agents are attempting to block off all exits. They've probably taken care of the ships, too. And Vega Force 01 can only fly on the island. Damn, the enemy is quite shrewd. Perfect! That means we get to avenge Atlas. I'm ready to go. Uh, no. They shouldn't even be able to get up here. So they won't let us get away without a fight? What's going on? Something fun? I I forget all the Vegapunk's names. There's Lilith, there's Pythagoras, there's uh, York, there's Shaka. I forget the little dude's name. Eureka, I've just thought up a new invention. I reckon it's going to be a real cutting edge piece of tech. Lilith, if all you've got in mind is another brainless attack, knock it off. Why can't we retaliate against these fools? They're after our necks. 
Fighting back isn't our objective. Ensuring the main body of the escape is. As satellites, it's our duty to, pro to prioritize the Stella's safety above all else. You know, we may be expandable, but you running off on a vendetta will only cause us more trouble. That goody good act of yours really gets on my nerves. That's too bad. Still, I'm only sorry. I'm so sorry, Sentamaru. That only happened because you're so loyal. We still have another ally on this island that we c we can call. Who is this ally? We still have another ally on this island we can call on. Should we? Hold your horses. Won't you be risking them too if we ask for help? They'd have nowhere left to hide if they're in the government sites too. But that, be that as it may. Hello, I'm in a big pinch. Please save me, Quasar. He has so shamelessly. Of course, I've always been prepared for this order. Wowza, looks like they're gonna help us. Escape should be easy as pie now. If we focus and make CP make sure CP0 is kept busy, especially since the Stella has secured passage on the Straw Hat ship. I'll, I'll, I'll take us to the port with Vega Force 01. I approve. Let's hurry. Who put you in charge? Well, folks, I'm all packed. Please take the seven of us to your ship, Quasar. Seven? You're all coming? What? That sounds like a pain. <laughs> Sanji is just like, I don't care as long as Lilith tags along. And Frankie is just pumped that Vegapunk's on the ship. Hell yeah. A void with seven faces of the world's best scientists. Woo! Lab interior. Wait, 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 wait. Bonnie, hold up. That Vegapunk to think he'd stoop to using bugs against me. That's what you're mad about? Hey, I promise to get that old timer out of here in one piece. One piece? Okay. Don't beat him up. Beep, beep. Hmm? Beep, beep. Labrostratum Frontier Dome defenses are now offline. Beep, beep. The Frontier Dome is offline. The Frontier Dome is offline. What? Why? Who would disable it and for what purpose? Is someone in the control room? No, our detectors aren't picking up anyone. That was sudden. If those deterrents are really down, this is a golden chance, Lucci. Wait. It might be a trap. Doesn't this malfunction sound a little too convenient? See? We've gotten this far and it's fine, right? For this to happen with your life at stake. The heavens have ab abandoned you, Vegapunk. Isn't that the Straw Hat ship? Oh! Here comes Zoro and Brooke! I, I hope. Wow, there's a robot here too! We've taken, we've already taken care of all the ships below. Now we've just got to destroy this one. Leave it to me. Tempest Kick. Sky Slicer. Oh, Zoro is just taking a nap. You see the, his silhouette of him waking up. He, the, he pulls out the sword. Shing, and deflects the Tempest Kick. What the? Who the hell interrupted my nap? Oh, no. Oh, Kaku versus Zoro once again. Oh, man. Okay, okay. I hope that's where this is heading, but... Ooh. Shaka, I've got the Frontier Dome back online, but the CP0 agents have already infiltrated. Damn, we were too late. They'll target the Straw Hat ship. Indeed, they're already fighting a crew member that was guarding it. If we don't hurry, out, hurry and back him up, we'll lose our ride out of here. Will you look at that? We get to go to war after all. Hmm? Hey, guys. Luffy! Huh? We're already leaving, but we just got here. Come on, let's not rush this. It's noisy out there. I want I, Usopp's just like, I want to stay too, but we can't help it since this is government island. You already bumped into that Rob Lucci guy, right? I know, but... Oh, wait, you haven't seen Bonnie, have you? She's a pirate lady with long hair. Now that you mention it, where's Vegapunk? <laughs> yeah, stop it, Bonnie. We're in a rush here. I'll explain, just hear me out. Shut up! Can you turn my dad back to normal? Yes or no? No. Sorry, I just can't. But there's a reason for that. Somewhere in the waters of the new world. Whoa. Isn't that fish bigger than normal? Ooh, killer? Okay. Kid, wake up. We're near land. Should we go look around? Are you really asking that? When have I, when have I ever 
pass on exploring an island. I know, but this, but this island is probably the home of giants. Elbath! Elbath? Kid went to Elbath? Where did Law end up going then? I know he ended up fighting with Blackbeard, but I guess... Mm. G14 Naval Base. You're such a troublema troublemaker, Vice Admiral Garb. We're, we're about to head over to Egghead. We can't spare any of our men. Don't be like that, doll. Blah! This isn't a joke. You want to launch an offensive against an emperor. Have you cleared this with the top brass? Huh? Why would I? You've been in the Navy for how many decades with that attitude? Blah! It's fine. Don't worry about it. Besides, I'm already here. He's already at Egghead? No, he's he's at the G14 base. Okay. Helmepo, get out here. Is it a pirate attack? What do you want? What do they want with Helmepo? Ah, wait, that's Vice Admiral Garp's ship. Vice Admiral Garp? <laughs> I really wanted to see you. Kobe, Kobe went and got captured by Blackbeard and I couldn't do anything to help. Quit whimpering. It's hard to watch. Just get on board already. We're going to head to Has Hashinosu. Let's beat the snot out of those pirates and save Captain Kobe. Vice Admiral Garp! The hero of the Marines. Garp! That's the end of the chapter. Oh, wait, does this mean Garp's going after Blackbeard? Ooh. 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 Wait, Hashinosu. Do I know? Do I know what that place is? Do I know what Hashinosu is? Oh, wait, that's, uh... Mm. <sighs> okay, so Garb and Helmeppo are going to save Kobe. All right, okay. Kid is an Elbaf. All right. That's surprising. I have a feeling... Hmm... Kuma's, Kuma went back to the red line. I thought he would be going to Egghead to save Bonnie. That's what I thought. Kaku and Zoro are fighting. This chapter was insane. Oh my god. And there's a there's a secret helper coming to help Vegapunk. Uh oh, I wonder what's I wonder what's gonna happen. There's no uh hmm. I wonder what's gonna happen. That's hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I, that was a good chapter, I think. That was a really good chapter. Now, hmm. What do? You, and Vegapunk says that he can't turn Kuma back to normal. I mean, that kind of makes sense. There's got to be a way to, like, revert his brain back to normal, I think. He can keep the cyborg parts. What am I saying? I don't know anything about cyborgs. It, it would be cool if there was a way to change Kuma back to normal. I guess if Kuma was programmed or something to always return back to the red line or to what, the celestial dragons. So he's just going back to be a slave. Which, that kind of sucks. <coughs> I wonder what Kuma did to make him, like, volunteer to be a slave. Because he's called the Tyrant King, so... Hmm. Interesting. I really thought he was going to Egghead. I thought he was going to go to Egghead to save Bonnie or something. Whatever. Um, anyway... That is going to be the end of this video today. Uh, if there's a chapter next week, I probably won't react to it, honestly. Uh, I'll probably just give my thoughts on Twitter. Um, so if you want if you, uh, if you want to see my thoughts on the next chapter, if it comes out next week, I'm not exactly sure if it will or not, uh, follow my Twitter. Uh, it'll be down in the description below. Uh, and, yeah. I hope you all have a very nice day. I hope you all have a nice New Year's. Because I probably won't upload, uh, until then. 
until after New Year's, so, yeah. Alright, see you later, that's it for me, bye.